You may have wondered what on earth is this ABS connector on the Modius controller. It stares at you like there must be some purpose, but whatever it is, it was keeping quiet about it. Well, wait no longer. The ABS port is an I2C master that allows Modius to monitor on an auxiliary absolute encoder. We'll see what that is for and why you'd want to use that right now. Modius already has an absolute magnetic encoder integrated on the back of the board, right here. That is used to monitor the position of the rotor relative to the stator and allows it to execute high-rate field-oriented control of a brushless motor. This can work well for direct drive setups, but what if the motor is driving a reduction stage of some sort? In this configuration, since the integrated encoder measures only the rotor position, there is an ambiguity with respect to the final output position. If there is, for instance, a 1 to 4 reducer, it can tell where inside one of the four quadrants the output lies in, but not which quadrant, as the same rotor position corresponds to multiple output positions. There is a mechanism for the application to resolve this ambiguity at start by sending the perhaps misnamed ReZero command, but that can be inconvenient as it may require even more wiring and may not be very practical in multiple controller configurations. With the new auxiliary encoder support, an I2C based encoder, initially limited to the AS5048B, can be attached to the ABS port. When configured appropriately, Modius will monitor that encoder at a modest rate, up to 200 Hz. It can report that position over the CAN-FD port, and its startup can also optionally use it to resolve the ambiguity about which quadrant the output is located. To show off this new feature, I whipped up a simple 3D printed belt reducer transmission in Fusion 360, printed it out, and assembled it together. It is based around a GT2 belt, AMS's AS5048B breakout board, and uses a pre-crimped JST-ZH4 cable from Amazon. All links in the description below. And here's the final result. A Modius dev kit motor has a 3D printed timing belt pulley bolted to it. That goes to a larger load pulley with twice the tooth count mounted on bearings here. An encoder magnet is super glued onto the end of the 3D printed shaft. On the back side of that is the AS5048B breakout board. It is connected with an intermediate 0.1 inch connector for reasons that aren't super relevant to the demo. Tensioning is managed through a slot in the load pulley fixture, which allows the appropriate tension to be applied before tightening its bolts. There is a piece of masking tape on each pulley so we can see how they rotate. The drive pulley has to make two full revolutions for one revolution of the load pulley. Previously, since the primary encoder only senses the position of the rotor, it is unable to tell the difference between this position of the output and a full rotation of the rotor, which results in the output being 180 degrees off. To configure our newly connected auxiliary encoder, we'll first go to the config pane and look in the ABS section. There we can set the mode, which as per the documentation should be 1 for an AS5048B. Like with the primary encoder, we need to define a mapping between the raw encoder counts and the desired output position. That is accomplished through the offset and scale parameters. We'll set those up so that the zero position is with the load tape pointing it to the top and plus minus 0.5 is with the tape pointing at the bottom. Finally, we'll go into the servo tree. We can set the re-zero from ABS, which will tell Modius on power up to initialize the value of unwrapped position to be the closest value consistent with the absolute encoder. Note that this assumes that you have configured the zero point of the primary encoder to match the zero point of the auxiliary encoder. The zero point of the primary encoder is set here or through modius tool dash dash zero dash offset. 
we can do it here manually for this test. And last, we'll configure our unwrapped position scale to be 0.5, since this is a 1 to 2 reduction. When unwrapped position scale is configured to a non-unity value, all positions, velocities, and torques as reported by Modius, and those sent as commands, will be treated as if they applied to the output after the reducer. So that means that unwrapped position will be 0 here at the top of the output, and 0.5 at the bottom, despite the fact that the rotor had to move through a full rotation to get there. With that configuration out of the way, we can see how it works. Monitoring in T-View, we can look at the ABS tree to see the current values reported by the AS5048B. Since this is running at a lower rate, Modius is able to query all the diagnostic values too, so we can see the magnetic field strength and fault codes. Here is the position, and yes, as we can see, it reports 0 when the load tape is at the top, goes up to 0.5 nearing the bottom, and wraps around to minus 0.5 and then back to 0 at the top. We can reboot the Modius controller using the D-Reset Diagnostic Mode command. We'll do that here at a few different positions, and then monitor the unwrapped position. Here at 0 it works, at 0.25 it works, down at 0.4 it works, and also at minus 0.4. Now as before, Modius will count multiple revolutions while it is powered on. The auxiliary encoder just changes where the start of that counting takes place. So if we reboot while at minus 0.4, we can rotate through to 0.4, and if we keep going it reports 1 at the top despite the auxiliary encoder reading 0. Finally, just for demonstration, we'll issue a movement command, for which the positions, velocities, and torques will be in terms of the output. Thus we can command a stop position of 0.4, and the output shaft moves to 0.4. Then with a stop position of minus 0.4, it goes back around fully to the other side. To use the auxiliary encoder, you may need to update your Modius firmware. Anything at or newer than 2021-0409 contains the feature. The reference manual available on GitHub documents all the new configuration settings. With those two things in mind, you should be good to go. Thanks! <laughs>